and welcome to the Lingle YouTube channel and hello today from a very beautiful sunny day in the gorgeous Cape Town. Gilad and I have actually been here for a couple of days. We were first in French Hook and now we are staying in Cape Town. Um, we have been working like crazy over the past couple of months. So it has been so divine to just get away for a few days and so I thought this would be the perfect time to do a quick video for you guys on my top holiday rules, my lean goal rules for staying on track while you are on holiday. So I know that things are always more difficult when you're out of routine, when you're on holiday and with the holiday season coming up, I wanted to share with you just a couple of things that can help you stay feeling amazing while still enjoying all of the good things that the holiday season brings along. So I don't know about you guys, but I've been there so many times where I have like wanted to be so strict before holiday, you know, we're exercising like crazy, we, our diet is on point, and on day two of the holiday, we like bring on the full costume because we aren't feeling too hot anymore. So, you know, even though we know that the holidays are all about, you know, the ice cream and the cake and the wine and all of that stuff, we also need to have a bit of balance to ensure that we are not feeling terrible by you know, a couple of days into the holiday and we can still put on the bikini midway or at the end of the holiday and still feel energized and great and confident in our own skin. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my five top legal rules for staying on track on holiday. Okay, so my first rule on holiday is to find some kind of routine that works for you and your new holiday schedule. Now, when we are in our regular routine, obviously we wake up at a certain time, we drink a certain amount of water, we go to the gym at a certain time, we eat specific foods, and our bodies seem to get into its own routine and it all everything works pretty well. Then what happens is we go on holiday and everything changes from the kinds of foods that we eat to the time we wake up, to the training that we do, to the amount of water that we drink, and very often that can cause a bit of havoc um, in our bodies and we just don't feel as good as we do when we're in our normal routine. So what I like to do on holiday is I like to make a new routine depending on what my holiday is gonna look like, like if I'm staying at a hotel, um, or if I am staying in an Airbnb or depending on where I am on holiday as well. Um, it's very easy to quickly find yourself a new routine and what's important about that is that you can also start incorporating some of the elements from your normal home routine into your holiday routine. So I don't mean by that like just have the same old boring routine as you would in your normal um, you know regular home life but there are certain things that we should absolutely still be keeping up on our holiday routine like drinking our water, if you have probiotics normally, you have those probiotics. If you always make sure, which you absolutely should, be having salads and vegetables every day, still include those things so you can make sure your digestion is on point to make sure that you're staying hydrated, you're getting all your vitamins, you're feeling good. So number one is try and create a new routine and that still has some of your good lean girl habits and elements in it. Number two is stick to your meal times. Now your meal times may be different to the ones in your normal routine, that's totally okay. On holiday, you guys know I normally do intermittent fasting anyway, but on holiday, I do recommend that you push your breakfast out as late as possible, which means that you can also save your calories for later on in the day, which is when we tend to indulge a little bit more. So even if you are having breakfast, have something lighter that is lower in calories because for lunch or dinner, you may be having dessert and wine and all of those other good things. So keep breakfast light, but anyway, the actual point is to stick to meal times and why i recommend this is when we are on holiday sometimes we think okay well i'm not working now so eating is my full-time job which it's not so it's very easy to snack the whole day especially when you're not doing much and you're just relaxing around and um, the snacks can come out and you can so quickly rack up way too many calories and you feel like you haven't really eaten that much but all the little calories add up. You know, it's like 100 calories, 200 calories, and before you know it, it's like an extra thousand calories just in snacks. So what I prefer to do is I prefer to have set meal times. When it's a meal time, I eat a really big satisfying meal, and then I move on and do other amazing holiday things that are not surrounded by eating. And on the topic of snacks, if you do snack, 
don't forget everything that you know. So don't go and reach for all the high calorie snacks we know are not going to be helpful. Rather go and fall back on those good snacks that you know are gonna keep you satisfied that are still low calorie and high protein. Some of my favorite snacks, I love to take protein bars on holiday. I keep these with me if they're on the plane, I keep one in my bag. Um, are my little protein bars. So these are the grenade ones, which are so good. My favorite flavors is white chocolate salted peanut. So good. And the white chocolate cookie, which honestly tastes like a Milky Bar. So good. And then other snacks that I love to keep on me is the Biltong, which I actually, we also got on our little trip. Um, another really good one is actually the instant oats, which comes in the little sachets, which is so convenient. All you have to do is add boiling water, which you can get pretty much anywhere. And if Bob is your uncle, you have a really good high fiber, satisfying, I mean, I love my oats. And um, you can keep some little sachets of sweetener in your bag, and there we go, that is your snacks sorted. So snack smart, something else that I also love to do is I love to actually go to a grocery store. So when we arrived in Cape Town, we'll pop to Willie's, I got myself a pound of strawberries, some fresh fruit, and um, quick and easy things that I can just throw in my bag and take on the go. Um, going to a grocery store is always great because you can actually choose the things that you want and get some fresh stuff that you perhaps couldn't take on the plane or couldn't take on your journey. Um, and what I love about Airbnb as well is you can actually make your own food as well. So if someone's in a hotel room, it's a little bit difficult, but we love Airbnb because obviously most of them will have a little kitchen. Um, so you can also prep some of your favorite foods right in your um, new little holiday house. Tip number three is be smart with your restaurant eating. Now restaurants, their main job is to make your food tasting really good, right? So they add a lot of sauces, oils, butters, and all of that good stuff. But most of the time it's a lot of unnecessary calories. So what I normally do for restaurants, especially when I am having a meal that's not like my favorite mushroom ragu whatever, but I'm just eating a meal at a normal restaurant, is I'll always start with a lean protein and I love to go for either seafood or chicken. I try and stay away from the higher um, calorie meats, so um, like steak or ribs or anything like that. They're normally really rich, really high in fat, which means pretty high in calories. So seafood is always a great option, um, as well as chicken, obviously. Um, and then I always make sure that I include either veggies or salad in my meal as well. That will help you have something that is still high volume. You can still have a really nice big portion. It'll keep you satisfied and of course keep your calories down. Um, and included in that, I often will say to them, please don't use any oil. Normally they still use the smallest bit, but they'll just use less. Um, and a lot of the stuff, you really don't need a lot of oil or butter or anything like that. So if I'm having fish, I'll say, oh, please dry grill it or Cajun grill um, and use minimal oil. And you will notice that most restaurants are really accommodating. They'll do whatever it is that you ask. So don't be shy, ask them for what you want. And most of the time you can get a really nice, low calorie, high protein meal exactly as you like it. And that is gonna make you feel good and energized and satisfied. And my last tip for restaurant eating is that say to yourself, I can have it all, just not all at once. So if you do go to a restaurant, try and have a tiny bit of discipline and figure, figure out, okay, am I going to be having the bread that comes before my meal? Am I going to be having wine or am I going to be having dessert? So that's my rule. You can have it all, just not all at once. So choose, would you like a glass of wine with your meal? Um, are you the bread kind of girl who obsesses of the bread? Or are you more the dessert kind of girl that wants to have the dessert? And you can change it up. But often if we are having a normal meal and we're having wine and dessert and the bread, obviously your calories are gonna go totally crazy. So remember that, choose what it is that you want to be your poison for that meal at the restaurant. Enjoy it. Um, and then tomorrow you can have something else. Okay, rule number four is beware of the alcohol. We normally drink a lot more on holiday and let me tell you that those calories rack up really, really quickly. So a normal cocktail can be anywhere from 500 to 800 calories. That is a hell of a lot of food, my girls. So when it comes to alcohol, please my girls, be smart as to what you choose and also be aware on how many drinks you are actually consuming. So one glass of wine is between 130 and 150 calories. 
think about that. That's like one and a half slices of bread. You get to choose wine or the bread. I, I often will choose the bread rather. But, um, and then another great drink. So besides for wine and champagne, which is 90 calories a glass, you can also have normal, any spirits are around 80 to 90 calories for that. And if you have that with a sugar-free drink, so sugar-free tonic or Coke Zero or Sprite Zero, you're looking at around maybe, yeah, 80 to 90 calories per drink. So you can have a good two drinks that are not gonna totally break the calorie bank. But again, beware on all of the other drinks and the problem, the double whammy with alcohol is once you've had a few drinks, of course, you care a lot less about your food choices too. So beware of the alcohol and when you are drinking, make sure to make calorie friendly choices. And then my last rule for holiday is to always work out. Now I train pretty, religiously in the gym every single day and obviously i'm not running to the gym whenever i'm on holiday or trying to find a place that always has a gym but i always make sure to do a little something every single morning before i get my day started because we are naturally less active and we are moving around less on holiday well for most of us that means that we are going to be expending less energy too so it is important to i feel like when you work out you like kickstart your body for the day. You have that rush of endorphins. You just feel great. It's like rebooting your computer. Just everything works better. And then you can very easily relax for the rest of the day. So it doesn't matter what you do, even if it's just 20 minutes, 30 minutes, even if you're going for a really long, delicious walk along the promenade, or even if you just say to yourself, this is a really good one for holiday, is 100 burpees. I know burpees are the absolute devil, but trust me, just 100 burpees, it will take you 10 to 15 minutes. It works your entire body, and then you will be done. Then you can lie down, you have permission, from me to lie down for the rest of the day. And to be honest, also find other ways on holiday to not lie down the whole day. Take beautiful walks instead of, you know, getting on a train or a bus or in a car. Actually take a beautiful walk and find other ways to still stay active and don't lie down the whole day. Skipping is another great one. So pack your skipping rope in your bag and 10 to 15 minutes of skipping, uh, getting that sweat going. Otherwise just push-ups, sit-ups, squats, that's all you need, only body weight exercise. So promise yourself every single day, no matter what kind of exercise it is, that you will at least get in 15 to 20 minutes a day. So that is it for my five tips for staying on track while on holiday. So the first one is find yourself your new holiday routine. Number two is stick to meal times. Number three is be smart when it comes to your restaurant choices. Number four is be very aware of the alcohol and the calories in the drinks that you are choosing. And number five is be sure to get moving every single day. And then I just wanted to end off this video by reminding you of our little saying, which is you can have it all, just not all at once. I'm all about enjoying the good things in life, about having balance, enjoying the wine, enjoying the dessert, enjoying all the food, enjoying your holiday, making sure that you don't feel like you're missing out on life but at the same time still feeling good and energized and lean and fit um, every single day of your holiday too. And also just remember a couple of indulgences here or there, really often they feel much worse than they do. So you can have a huge meal and you can feel like you've put on three kilos, but I promise you as quickly as that one meal can make you feel terrible, a few good meals can make you feel right on track again. So even if you do overindulge, if you do have the bread and the wine and the dessert and the big creamy pasta, also no, it's okay. It, it takes 3,500 calories over and above your maintenance calories to gain just half a kilo of fat. So you probably haven't done as much damage as you think. So just get back on track as quickly as you can and I promise you will be absolutely fine. So that's it for me on your top holiday hacks. For the festive season, I hope that you all have a beautiful time away and be sure to look out for more videos from me. I'm gonna be sharing some festive season recipes that are low calorie, high protein, and they are gonna be amazing to bring to all of your family celebrations. And I will also be sharing a lot more lean body hacks that are gonna help you ease into the holiday season um, and stay lean while doing it. If you haven't yet done it, hit subscribe on my channel so you don't miss those and don't forget, forget to give me a thumbs up. It really helps my videos. And that's it from me and here on the Lean Girl YouTube channel. I will check you for another video next week.